by violence. When African-American and white students tried to ride segregated buses through the South, the buses were often stopped. When African-American students first attended the University of Mississippi, many people objected. Still brave young people refused to back down. They didn't do it by fighting back. Instead, they confronted racism with non-violent protests. What does it mean to be non-violent? Not to hurt no more. Right. This was the way taught by civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. Today in Greensboro, young people have no memory of the sit-ins. The days of segregation were before they were born. Many people, however, try to keep the memory of what happened alive. It's important to remember how brave young people stood up for what was right and changed the nation. So let's answer a few questions. In what city was the first city in hell? Uh, in Greensboro. Greensboro, very good. Use examples from the reader. Define segregation. What does segregation mean? It means to, like... How did our story define it? Well, whites was only allowed in, um... Read this. For example, segregation, segregation meant African Americans and white students had to attend oh, separate schools. Had to attend separate schools. So what does segregation initially mean? It means that black and whites couldn't what? I mean, black and whites couldn't go, go to, to the, the same, same school. school. Right, but segregation extended out into the real world, didn't it? And businesses adopted that policy. So that means blacks couldn't what? Couldn't go to with the whites. Where? To, oh. to work. Private what? Private schools. Private businesses. businesses. What was the name of the private business that was mentioned in the story? Uh, what was the name of it? Start with a W. Wait. Wait. Use your text. Started with a W. What was the name of the store? Wood. Woolworth. Woolworth, right. And what did Woolworth sell? Uh, food. Food and? Drinks. And? Uh, did they just sell food and drinks? What did our story say? Let's go back and look. And this is citing text. We're using four, our story. Woolworth four. lunch counter. Oh, that's it. Look like, they say, look like they sold a little bit of everything. They sold clothes, too. Looks like it. From the looks of the pictures in the story. What time frame was this? Give me an example of one of the dates that was given in the story. 1954. 1954. Is that the only date we've seen? When did? Yeah, that's when the sit-ins actually took place. 1954 is when they uh, outlawed uh, segregation in schools. Okay. Why do you feel like segregation was deemed unconstitutional? Why do you think the government said no more segregation? Because whites weren't treating black, blacks fairly. Right, and that was important, right? Mm -hmm. So do you see how we use the W's, the who, the what, the why, the where, and the when to 